welcome to my channel and for today's video I am doing a Christmas Bible reading plan. I hope you enjoy this video. Grab yourself a notepad, a pencil, some pens, colored pencils, anything you want to decorate and I'm going to give you guys some questions to write down on a piece of paper. You can decorate it, leave it plain, whatever you want and you can ask yourself these questions as you go on with the Bible study. So these are some outline kind of questions to ask you. The first question I want you to ask is why Bethlehem? And then it talks about that there was no room for them in the inn, so they had to go to a manger. And why a manger? So the first two questions are pretty simple. Why a manger, obviously, because there's no room in the inn. Second, why Bethlehem? Because that was, they were doing a census and Joseph needed to be there. Why did God have the Roman Empire do a count of the people, the census, now? Like, why right now? Because he needed Jesus to be born in Bethlehem. But why did he need Jesus to be born in Bethlehem? My idea, my answer to why he was born in a manger is because God wanted to show us that no matter where you are from or no matter where you are born no matter where you live no matter where we all are can be equally great and equally terrible <laughs> we can equally make mistakes and we can equally grow from the mistakes and we can equally be stronger than anything else it's not in the matter of where you're from it's basically in my mind it's in a couple words to sum it up it's don't judge a book by its cover that's what I feel he's talking about here. So those are the first two questions in the first section title for day one I want you to ask. And every day I want you to ask yourself the same exact question. What does God want from me this Christmas? So now I'm gonna speed a little quickly through day two and all the other days just because of how little time we have left. I don't wanna have, have this video forever. Okay, so our next section is shepherds and angels. Now the first question is why shepherds? Why wise man? And what what am I? So a little more context is why shepherds? Like shepherds were kind of low back then. They're not like the highest people like and wise men were like rich. They had many things to offer Jesus. Like obviously wise men came, but why did he send shepherds? Why did he send wise men as well? Why did he send rich people why did he send poor people why did he send anyone but the last one is who am i who do i rank in shepherds of wise man we all want to be the gracious shepherd who offers his sheep to jesus that's really sweet and i love that part but we also want to be the person a lot who has more to offer than just that the fourth question that i want to ask you is what can i give to god for christmas related to this so now our next section titled is called jesus is presented in the temple the two questions i want to have you guys ask yourself is why did jesus have to be offered to the lord if he was given to mary like you know the trinity jesus god they're all the same right why did he have to be offered then because of how high he already was as an infant why did he have to be offered like just why was it for the other people like oh they needed to know that they respected the lord or was it because god actually wanted him to be offered those two questions one is why did jesus have to be offered and two is how is our thing how is our world today different from here aka being offered now not why do people not know and they did back then everyone knew god now today people don't so yeah i'm not saying that back then everyone loved god because there were certainly people who had more than one gods so i'm not saying everyone was perfect back then but a lot of people knew of god 100 percent. so what's different from today and where do you think we all led astray obviously the third question is what does god want from me from christmas from this in regards to this section so our next section is the prophecy of simon so the first question is what promises does god make in your life and what kind of a promise has god made in your life well, like a promise that god has made to me like he'll always love me i know he'll always love me and that's his promise that he's made to me and did he save just israel so your two questions is 
the first one about Simon being righteous and God, what are some promises God makes to you? And your second one is why did God just save one place or did he save a lot more? Did Jesus, I'm sorry, did Jesus save just one place or did he save others? And the third question is obviously, what can I give to God for Christmas in regards to this chapter? Okay, so our next chapter is the prophecy of Anna. So your two questions is, do you talk to others about the exciting news of Jesus and how do you share it day to day or whenever you get the chance to share it, how do you share it? And your final question is, what can I give God for Christmas from according to in regards to this section? So this next and last final section title is Jesus Speaks with the Teachers. This is about Jesus not being found after they go to the Passover festival when they go to Jerusalem because his parents took him there and he gets basically lost and they find him three days later talking with the religious teachers and asking questions and giving he's giving them answers so the two questions I want to ask you plus what does God want for Christmas for me is the first question is can we start now I don't know how old you are without watching this but I know I'm 14 you no know, I have a YouTube channel and I'm sharing it right now but how can you, one, can I start now? Can I start sharing? And how can I start sharing this? How can I start sharing the word of God? And can I? So, so a couple extra things that I want you to do every day is one, write down a prayer from each thing. So what I mean by that is the first one is birth of Jesus. Write down a prayer saying, dear God, thank you so much for your birth. I'm so thankful for you. I'm grateful for you. So that's six days. And the final sixth day is what does God want from Christmas for me? That's a question you're gonna have to ask by yourself to go ahead and take this day to reflect on all the other days. The sixth day was all about rest and rest and party up because it's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas everyone and I hope you love this challenge and keep smelling your prayer for you guys before you leave. Dear God, thank you so much for every single person that has watched this video. I know I don't have the biggest amount of people there but what little people I do have that are watching this video, I pray that you will give them amazing blessings and I pray that you will help them really learn more about you in this six day quick little study and I pray that you will help them just share the word easier and with this knowledge of them because we can't share it if we don't know it so thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share it and I know I'm not perfect and no one is so please give us grace and we love you and we thank you. Amen. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.